Hi everyone, uh, I said I would show you some of the, the progress I've been making with offline support. So it required a good bit of change with how the system was architected and I guess like anything it, it took way longer than I thought it would. But I'd like to give you just a small demo. So the things to notice are one that everything works a lot faster and it can be used entirely offline. So I will open up a game. And you can see it's it's just instant. And uh, I hope to to get rid of the the touch to start as well. So that you'll just be able to click in and start. Um, super quick to, to load auto saves too, which I will I'll show you there. Um, so yeah, let's just load that one. It's it's instant, and you can very quickly uh, switch. Or sorry, you can very quickly switch between games. The reason they keep swapping in order is because we're in the the recently played tab. I've also added a, a most played tab, uh, so you'll be able to see your your play time in each game, which I think would be would be quite nice. I've been toying around with the idea of when you click on a game, uh, you might get a little overlay just telling you all your your stats on it. And the other thing is that adding games is also now much quicker. So um, there is no there's no uploading and everything just is just there straight away so if we go into recently added you can see it's in here um, so yeah thank you very much and thank you for for your patience I know it has taken away from I guess feature development to to do this but I think it'll be an important um, it's an important thing to to do now so that we have a solid a solid base going forward and I hope to bring to bring lots more exciting features to Afterplay um, in the coming months but if I can just get this get this sorted and get this out of the way I think things will be will be a lot better so thank you all so much for your support and I hope to to talk with you soon <laughs>